If you have ever used Rising OS and you love that custom room, we have an alternative available to that custom room. In this one, I'm going to talk about Everest OS. I'm not exactly sure how many of you actually know about this custom room. But let me tell you one thing that this is one of those only few custom rooms which brings you something really amazing. Like Rising OS that has that feature and not every custom room is bringing you but this custom room will bring you. Everest OS based on the latest Android version having the latest security patch whenever you are watching this video most of the features shall be available almost every time here comes everest os android 14 let's have a quick look at some of the features here firstly one of the main highlights of this custom room is the lock screen this is only one of the few custom rooms as i just mentioned that it is bringing you some lock screen customizations a lot of custom rooms are already have uh, having a lot of customizations regarding lock screen but this is having a bit different thing like we also have the user switcher option available in case you use multi users if you use multiple users on a device profiles of course basically then you'll be able to switch between them directly from the lock screen but you can see lock screen widgets are here and all these things are optional Moving on to the lock screen customizations, you can see we have a lot of custom clock styles available. So for example, if you want to use iOS style clock, if you want to use MIUI style, if you want to use color OS, oxygen OS style, a lot of clock styles are available for your lock screen. Including this, we have some lock screen widgets available. Like in this case, you have the option to enable the lock screen widgets. You also have the option for device info widgets. Then we have nothing OS style widgets. For example, mini widgets and the big widgets. So that is one of the main highlights of this custom room. I personally love this kind of lock screen as compared to some others. Normal iOS style lock screen is good, but because it's having nothing OS style widgets available, this is looking quite amazing. And as compared to the stock Android lock screen, this is looking so amazing. You can also see we have the option to enable user switcher option directly in the lock screen settings. In case you don't need it, simply disable this option. As like, as we were expecting, we also have the iOS inspired depth wallpaper, which you have to set it up according to the, the, the guide, which is available there. As you can see, all the setup options are present here. You just need a subject image, then you need to, then you need to customize that according to your own preference and a lot more things which you can do, including that all other options, which you were expecting from a lock screen customization section, almost every similar thing is present like some other custom rooms. Other features are almost similar to some other custom rooms. Like we have project matrix, we have CR droid, we have evolution XOS and a lot more extra things. This is also one of the similar things which I found in rising OS and that is sound engine. You have the option to enable this adaptive sound engine and this is looking quite good. Some things might be device specific, but most of the things shall be same in your case. You can switch between different profiles. Like right now, many Xiaomi devices, many custom rooms for Xiaomi devices have Dolby Atmos inbuilt present. So it depends upon which device you are using. If you have Dolby Atmos available, it's good. If you need this sound engine, sound engine is also present here. Moving on to some of the other options, like in miscellaneous options, you will find ignore window secure flags. That was kind of expected. It's already here. The option hide screen capture status. It's also present. And this is basically convenient in Snapchat and in some other applications where they detect screenshot, like in some chats, etc. It also brings you some spoofing options though, like play integrity fix, which is good. Something OS has a play integrity fix kind of different kind of UI that's available in many custom rooms already, but the UI is good in something OS. We also have storage encryption, pixel props, which were expected and the Google photos, higher FPS in games, the things that you were expecting from this custom room already present here. All the features are already there. Let's have a quick look at some of the customizations. I mean, if you are into customizations like theming, all the options you were expecting are already present like the Monet engine. So you can customize your own colors in case you want to. In case you don't want to use the wallpaper based theming, you can choose your custom colors and that option is present here. As expectedly, we have the option for choosing the custom icon pack. Most of the times I choose Pavlova UI. You can use any other one in case you want to. 
it also brings you some custom font styles and the ui to apply this or the preview is looking good as compared to some other custom rooms as you can see a lot of font styles are available in some of the custom rooms we might not see google sans medium and some of the other fonts but those fonts are present here you also have the ios style fonts you have product sans which i have applied right now one of my favorite and this fluid sans is also good looking so all these options are present here for you you can switch between them a lot of font options are present it also brings you some custom volume panel styles approximately six to seven styles are present let me tell you one more thing in case these options are not present in your custom room like vol volume panel styles if you're using any other custom room you can get these kind of options very easily with the help of iconify as a magisk module available there it also brings you ui styles a lot of inbuilt ui styles are present present basically for example if you apply this the background color some of the changes will be applied like the transparent ui is there we have espresso we have all the other things which you were expecting in the theming section it's quite common it's available in some other custom rooms from a long time already and it's not missing from here too like the latest qpr3 update is now rolling out for a lot of custom rooms right now so this is good because new qpr updates new bugs a lot of time taken to customize to enable these kind of things for users that's good the most of the things are present here we also have the islands island notification which is similar to dynamic island in ios quick settings it also has the option related to quick settings customization so for example if you want to switch between android 14 style quick settings panel to the android 11 style quick settings panel how you can do so it also brings you quick setting transparency that's present there which means you can enable blur from the background which looks good in some cases depends on which device you're using it might be laggy in your case if you enable this thing or you can simply disable this thing in, in case you want to to enable the android 11 style quick settings panel simply choose a quick setting tile style to circle customize the columns and rows i will suggest you to choose a quick quick setting rows to only one and then you will see this kind of ui so android 11 style quick settings panel enable this enabling this option is actually super easy you're gonna love this thing for sure including this everything else was kind of expected it's already present here so these are the things present here and in case you want to customize more and more a lot of extra options are available here for you to explore which you can explore after installing this custom room it's if it is available as far as i know while making this video it's available for some of the devices officially but for a lot of devices it's already available unofficially so don't miss it out in case you don't know it brings you almost every extra feature what you were looking forward to an aosp custom room because it's not having pixel launcher it was expected because it's not based on pixel it was expected that you will not get the pixel launcher pre-installed in this case as you can see it's Everest launcher right now every custom room is just renaming the launcher 3 to their own launcher which is kind of really similar just theming options are there else we have similar kind of things present almost here and there as you can see miscellaneous recents app drawer everything has similar kind of features available in many custom rooms let me show the recents panel too as you can see this clear all which is available as a button it is looking good but else we have similar kind of ui available everywhere so these were things i just wanted to let you know in case you want to try it out on a device as i just mentioned link for the official versions official website is already available in the description where the all the official versions are available the link for the telegram channel is available there in case if it is available unofficially how you can find it it's very easy simply move on to your device community telegram channel and you will be able to find if it is present this is all thanks for watching if you love this video make sure to like this one if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel because a lot of custom room reviews videos are coming very very soon let me know something if you know in the comment box thanks for watching